Welcome. I'm Jane Bradley, CEO at SmartSpider.net, and today I'm bringing you another fabulous Smart Spider member who has so much exciting things going on in his business. It is a delight today for me to welcome Alec Ferguson. Good morning, Alec. How are you today? Good morning, Jane. I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm super. The one thing I think about when I mention Alec Ferguson is he is an entrepreneur extraordinaire. Alec, I know where you're, you are today, but I would like our guests and our listeners, our watchers, to know a little bit more about your background because it's very interesting. Tell us a little about your background and how you got to the title of entrepreneur extraordinaire today. Well, Jane, in a nutshell, um, my name is Alec Cameron Ferguson. Uh, I've been a, a, a resident and of New Mexico for about 13 years now. I'm a Air Force veteran. Um, I think uh, my entrepreneurial journey kind of started with, I think it's similar to for most. I, I've worked for a bunch of big corporations and uh, busted my butt. I've gone through it all. And um, I just, I, I decided, you know what, I, I think I can do this better. And I just started my journey. Wonderful. Uh, in the Air Force, you were deployed, were you not? Yeah, so I was, um, I was attached to uh, a company called Red Horse. Uh, we're a civil engineering battalion um, where we did uh, a lot of structural support and design work that kind of supported all branches. That is so wonderful, Alec. We, we are always so delighted to support our veterans, especially when they have that entrepreneurial fire in their belly. Yes, ma'am. I know that you have been a very successful small business right now, and that your small business you've had is unusual, and it's very timely at this time of year. Tell us about your existing small business in Albuquerque today. What is that? Well, <clears throat> I have two. Uh, the first, uh, it's called Last Ditch Effort Waste Solutions. Uh, last Ditch Effort coming from a military term as far as we're going to throw everything we have at this. And uh, we specialize in demolition, um, leveling, property clearings, things of that nature. And it's funny because it started off as something completely different. It was a, uh, uh, a waste program for multifamily dwellings, um, i.e. apartment complexes and things of that nature. A uh, business model that I saw in a, a different place, uh, Dallas, Texas, where I lived before. And I thought it would be something to bring here. Um, and I saw success with it. I, things were great. Uh, I've used that company to develop um, uh, communities around uh, Albuquerque, the International District, uh, giving back, working with the veteran um, uh, integration centers and developing playgrounds. And then my second business is called Real Big Flicks. Uh, we're, uh, oh, completely... that's the one we want to go into. That's that guy right back uh, there. That's the one. But before we move into that, Alec, I would like to say that uh, this is the time of year people are cleaning out their backyards and their garages, and we're beginning to think about uh, who will help us clean up a mess, old limbs, branches, things in our yard, and haul it off. That's what you do. In Absolutely. Canada. Say the name of that company again. Uh, Last Ditch Effort Waste Solutions. That is great. A needed essential service. And absolutely. now we're going to go into the fun stuff. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> now, you know, for our listeners, entrepreneurs are a breed apart. They're dreamers. They're saying not what is possible, but why can't I do whatever it is I want to do and makes my heart sing. Alex has come up with a brand new idea and he's brought it to Albuquerque. It not only benefits him, 
but it benefits all of us for this summer and our entire state. So Alex, tell us how you got the idea for Real Big Flicks and what it is. So Real Big Flicks, uh, we started off as a mobile pop-up drive-in theater. Um, the concept came to me about three and a half years ago and when I was still, I was actually living back in Texas and you know, I grew up with the drive-in and they have drive-ins there. And I thought it would be something great to bring back to the city of Albuquerque. Uh, I mean, Albuquerque, it's, it's, it's the epitome of nostalgia. It would be so beautiful to have a drive in here with the old vehicles and, and the culture that, that just kind of surrounds it. Um, and it's funny that there is no interest in, you know, and so at the time, uh, about a year ago, um, you know, uh, everything was closing down and I said, and I told some people about it and faced with adversity, I said, I'm going to do this. And I wanted to hang out with you, Jane. I wanted a new way to, for us to social distance and, 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 you know, enjoy each other's company. And then I started seeing a, where I could help. Um, the closure rates of local small business was becoming unsurmountable, you know, especially that of restaurants. So I came up with the concept to, and I put it on the side of uh, one of my semi trucks and uh, I wanted to sustain the community. So I reached out to them and said, hey, you know, if I did a drive-in theater, maybe we can do a shorter, short order takeout, you know, kind of system and sustain your business. And uh, it, it took off from there. It's So in a nutshell, you set up pop-up drive-in movie theaters and parking lots and vacant lots uh, in the cow pasture and with a great big screen and ultra modern sound systems and you invite other people to join you like food trucks and entertainers so it can be a whole late afternoon evening experience that involves movies and food and fun absolutely absolutely it's almost like uh, taking the carnival meets the theater and so you know uh it's been very nice. I mean, I, I we set up and it, it's it can be as as much as the the creative mind makes it. You know, um, I surround. I try to incorporate whatever movie I'm showing with the type of food, with the type of event, the type of environment, uh, and being able to place my my truck in those environments kind of it adds to the whole experience. So, just so I understand this, I could load up a carload of my friends go to where Real Big Flicks is this weekend and I could watch a movie. And are these going to be old movies or new movies? I've had a wide array. I'm a big film film buff. So uh, it all depends. I mean, most of the movies kind of come out of uh, what's ever going in my mind. Actually, the, the first concept I would pick two movies and I'd place them on the website and I'd ask the people to vote on the movie. So the people have control ultimately over what they're going to see. Um, so not everything's full disclosed. Um, and to add on to what you're saying from the technology standpoint, the truck is full on board with a PA system and FM transmitter. Everybody's socially distanced. They can remain in their vehicles. Um, and it, it's just a great time. I, I, I truly enjoy it. Well, I grew up in an age where Drive-in movie theaters were, were everything. There were three or four in Santa Fe, small Santa Fe. I don't know how many there were in Albuquerque in the 50s and 60s, but I do know there were a lot. And as urbanization happened and these, these permanent locations with their huge parking lots, became more valuable for their real estate value than their move, their entertainment value. They sort of went away. And now you have figured out a way to bring back this event. I think it's just exciting. I think it's wonderful. Thank you. So back to my supposition, I could load up my little tiny car with three or four of my friends. We could go to your, your event, your location, for one low fee paid by the car. Absolutely. How many people I could, I can't put very many people in my car, but then I used to have an SUV, so I could put quite a few in that, especially kiddos. Mm -hmm. uh, 
this is such a great idea for Albuquerque. And, you know, Alec, we think about right now social distancing, but that's not going to be around forever. Uh, we're going to get back to where we can be together in groups, uh, maybe not this summer, but the following summer. And this is a, you have an idea for uh, providing food, food trucks at these locations. So it's a total experience of getting together with friends and getting out of the house and not spending a ton of money, but having a ton of fun. Is that kind of your concept? Absolutely. And Jane, I think that's a, I'm glad that you brought up the kids because I feel that's a big part of why I do this. You know, it, it's creating a, a new sense of normalcy in a time when normalcy doesn't seem to exist. You know, these young children, you know, they, they I'm trying to create core memories and values. And the drive-in did that for me. You know, being at the drive-in, it was a lot more than just the movie. It was a whole experience, uh, you know, sitting on top of the car under a blanket. I mean, uh, I've never, you know, in my time, I didn't have cell phones and things like that. But, you know, I've had the, the pleasure of seeing young children at my events now where they forget completely about the tablet and the, and the iPhone. Um, they're, they're staring at the screen. They're eating popcorn. They're hugging their parents. They're, uh, it's, it's beautiful. You know, it's, it's almost like I, I've reverse the clock you know i've taken things back to a, sim a simpler time where you're actually enjoying your family you know it, it's not just you know going to the movies and playing on you know they're 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 engaged and i feel that i have a, a very important position to not only influence but cultivate the minds of younger people and maybe i can do something great going forward i'm sure you can because you have the fire in your belly Yes, ma'am. What, what I think is a great feature of this, Alec, is if we're home alone or with other people and we're watching TV, we're wandering around, we're not particularly sitting still talking to people. We're maybe halfway through the movie, we set the record button and we go do something else. Our at home entertainment is no big deal anymore. It's commonplace and ordinary, and it's not an event, a celebration, a family get together. If we go out to a movie theater, if they even exist in the future, we have to all sit down very quietly. But the drive in was special because you get in your car and you go someplace and you have some food and you have some popcorn somebody else popped and and you have that experience and it's affordable by a whole family or a whole group of friends can take their lawn chairs and set up in front of their cars uh, i just i'm just enchanted by this idea and i can't wait do you think you'll be up and running in albuquerque by late spring early summer I'm definitely hoping so. Um, that's been one of the hurdles that I faced, you know, and a lot of us have faced that, you know, but uh, I'm fighting hard. Uh, I've been talking uh, and working ex tremendously to make this thing happen. Um, and and I, I think we're close, you know, um, it, like you said, it, nobody's really gone through stuff like this before. So you can't really be mad at people. It can be frustrating at times, um, but I'm definitely working hard to make things happen. Thank you, Alec. I have so enjoyed talking to you today about your hauling service. I can't wait for it to get a little warmer and you to get into my backyard because it needs some major help after frozen trees and frozen vines. But mainly about real big flicks. I think Alex has one of the best logos I've ever seen in the real big flicks. It's a it's a winner. If you want to contact Alec, you can go to the smartspider.net uh, website and enter his name, Alec Ferguson, or at the end of this interview, there will be a billboard with his contact information. If you're interested in talking to him more about the prospects and how you might collaborate with him, you know, that's what Smart Spider is all about. 
we love to form collaborations, especially if they're fun collaborations. Alec, thank you for being my guest today. I have enjoyed talking to you. You're, you're a dear and welcome to Smart Spider and your new venture. Thank, thank you, Jane. You. Thanks I for having am, me. I am Jane Bradley speaking for smartspider.net network of pros, wishing you a healthy, happy, productive and prosperous day. <laughs>